Ukrainian forces southeast of the embattled city of Pokrovsk, Donetsk Oblast, have withdrawn from their positions in the area and avoided being tactically encircled by Russia's advancing troops, the Institute for the Study of War said on August the 22nd. Moscow began concentrating its efforts in the east, throwing everything they have in the Pokrovsk direction after Russia's Kharkiv Oblast offensive failed, President Volodymyr Zelensky said in late July. Pokrovsk is an important logistical hub for the Ukrainian forces that support their operations in Donetsk Oblast. On August the 15th, residents of Pokrovsk were urged to evacuate as soon as possible because Russian troops were 10 kilometers from the outskirts of the city. Recent Russian advances in the Pokrovsk direction appeared to have prompted Ukrainian withdrawals from limited positions southeast of Pokrovsk and Russian forces have likely failed to achieve their apparent objective of tactically encircling Ukrainian forces in the area, the ISW wrote. The report cited geolocated footage that indicates Russian forces had taken the village of Pich and the remainder of the east bank of the Kalivsky Reservoir in the area. A spokesperson for the 59th Separate Motorized Infantry Brigade operating in the Pokrovsk sector told Suspiln that some units had withdrawn from positions in the area to preserve the lives of servicemen. The Associated Press reported that poor training of new recruits was a factor in Ukraine's inability to hold some positions. The ISW stressed it had seen no evidence of chaotic Ukrainian withdrawals in the Pokrovsk direction and the lack of any major advances by Russian forces suggested they had avoided a tactical encirclement. Russian forces have been slowly but consistently gaining ground in Donetsk Oblast and the frontline areas of Pokrovsk and Turetsk have borne the brunt of attacks in recent weeks. The Ukrainian military operation in Russia's Kursk region and the forced evacuation of thousands of Russians could seriously test Putin's authority. Pro-Kremlin military bloggers have criticized the Russian Defense Ministry and at least one oligarch, Oleg Deripaska, has already publicly condemned the war, American researcher of Soviet and Russian history Amy Knight wrote in a column for the Wall Street Journal. The author recalled how Deripaska criticized the Kremlin's defense spending, called the war in Ukraine insane and called for an immediate unconditional ceasefire. According to Knight, these comments caused a stir on Russian social media. He probably wouldn't have spoken so frankly if other representatives of the business and political elite hadn't agreed with him. As political scientist Abbas Galiamov noted, Deripaska is a very analytical person, so before saying such things, he always absorbs the mood of other elites. This is not only Deripaska's voice, the author reported. She suggested that Putin's assistant, Nikolai Patrushev, could also be among this elite. Ordinary Russians fed a constant stream of propaganda about protection from the evil West are unlikely to protest. But Putin's elite support, which is essential to his continued rule, is less clear. He should not assume that they will forever support a war with no end in sight, Knight concluded. Putin has given his troops just over a month to push Ukrainian armed forces out of the captured territories of the Kursk region. As RBC Ukraine reports, citing a source in the military political leadership, the occupation forces received instructions from Putin to liberate the Kursk region by October the first. It is noted that their task is to do this without removing forces from key areas where Russia is conducting an offensive in Donbass, primarily in the Pokrovsk and Turetsk directions. In fact, the Russians are now trying to send a mix of units to the Kursk region from all directions on the front, except for Pokrovsky and Turetsky. But armed forces of Ukraine expanded their control in the Kursk region and continued to advance. After weeks of operations in the Kursk region, Russia has managed to slow down somewhat but not halt Ukraine's advance. Despite measured statements from official spokespeople and officials, the immediate objectives of Ukrainian units in the Kursk region have become clearer over the past week. The main intrigue remains whether the next phase of this operation will take place and what its strategic goal will be as the further moves of both sides will determine the development of events along the entire front.